first started the company, I, I wanted a less corporate environment. And I envisioned a workplace that was something like what I used to get together with my friends in junior high school and high school, to play Dungeons and Dragons. We just all waited for the weekend to roll around so we could play games, and then we played games all weekend and lived off of um, Almond Joy bars and, and Cheetos. And you couldn't tear us away from playing games. And that's the kind of environment I wanted to create. Somehow he found me and, and called me up and we talked, had these long, long, multiple hour conversations about the game business. And after several of these, I remember mentioning to my wife, I wonder if he's going to start a game company. And uh, sure enough, in late 1994, he said, I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to make a, I'm going to start a game development company. I had a consulting company and one of our lead programmers, Angelo Loudon, and I were working on an accounting application. And uh, we were pretty bored and had been working on that for months. And he had told me that he had always wanted to, you know, write computer games, and I told him I always wanted to start a game company. And by the morning, we were banging out the code for a tank game, which never got produced, but that's how the company got started. Within a few months of starting, we had narrowed down what we were going to do, the game would be, and I, and I think it was a strong idea, the idea of merging the best of real-time strategy with the best of turn-based strategy into kind of a hybrid. So I think we had a great idea at that time. And then it was just a question of finding the people and, uh, and, uh, and making it all come together. 